The Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the seven wonders of the world. This magnificent monument is still the most mathematically perfect building in the world, to this day even by our own modern building standards. Each side of the base of the Great Pyramid is 755 feet long, and the four corners of the base are almost perfect right angles. The Great Pyramid is constructed with an estimated 2,300,000 blocks of stone, with an average weight of 2.5 tons per block, and some blocks weighing up to 70 ton. The Great Pyramid is also estimated to weigh up to 5.9 million ton, standing at 481 feet with the capstone in place. The Great Pyramid was the tallest building for nearly 4,000 years until the 19th century when the Eiffel Tower was built. The Great Pyramid is oriented almost exactly on the four cardinal directions aligned true north with only 3 60th of a degree of an error. The Great Pyramid is located on the Giza Plateau in the country of Egypt and lies at almost exactly at the center of the landmass of the world and it's divided into four equal parts. Astrology is also incorporated in the building of the Great Pyramid. The pyramids of Giza are laid out to exactly mirror the Orion's belt in the constellation of Orion and also to reflect their position of the stars circa 10,400 BC. Also, the southern shaft of the King's Chamber points at the star al Nitak in the constellation of Orion. The northern shaft in the King's Chamber points directly at the star Alpha Draconis in the constellation of Draco. The southern shaft of the Queen's Chamber points at the star Sirius, and the northern shaft of the Queen's Chamber points at the constellation of Ursa Minor, and these interesting facts are just a few. Is this all coincidence? I doubt it. But who built it, and how? Many experts have argued this for centuries. There are three popular theories, the Big Ramp, Cranes, and the Spiral Ramp Theory. The Big Ramp Theory is just not plausible. First. There has been no evidence ever found to suggest they have used big ramps to build the pyramids. The amount of material to construct the ramp would have been more and larger than the pyramid itself. Also, the ramp would have to be a mile long to reach the top. The crane theory doesn't work either. There's not enough room on the ledges to put cranes that were lifting blocks from 2.5 tons to 70 tons apiece. They would have to be huge and use a wide base. They would also have to lift one block every three minutes to construct the pyramid in the time that the Egyptians said it took. The spiral ramp is not probable either. The ramp would block the sight line and the builders need sight lines to construct the pyramid. However, it looks like former French engineer Jean-Pierre Houdin has found out how the Great Pyramids was constructed. His theory is that the builders used an internal ramp that spiraled around at a 7 degree incline and his theory is very probable. The spiral doesn't intersect with any of the other shafts or corridors in the Great Pyramid. Evidence has been found at the Sun Temple, constructed by King Nezari at Abdu Garab, seven miles of the Great Pyramid. In the 1980s, a French team using microgravimetrics found a hidden chamber inside the Great Pyramid. What they also found inside the Great Pyramid was a spiraling pattern that matches Jean-Pierre Houdin's theory. This theory looks to be very plausible. The workers would have moved the blocks up through the ramps of the pyramid and when they got to the corner of the pyramid there would be an opening with a crane to lift the block and reposition it to continue its journey up through the pyramid.